guys, Streamline Studios here, and today I have a Cinema 4D tutorial. And the tutorial is going to be about how to make abstract shapes in Cinema 4D. And let's start. First off, you can you I'm gonna add the torus and just increase the segments to maybe 100 and 100. So it's be so it's really smooth and maybe increase the ring radius and increase the pipe radius so it become thinner and gonna add a capsule and also increase the height segments to maybe 50 and the cap segments to 50 and this is what we have and then we gonna select both of them and hold and click alt G and then we'll group them and gonna add a bend I'm gonna put it inside the null object and below the capsule and torus and then you're gonna change the mode to unlimited and the strength you can change to whatever you want I'm gonna have it there and you can change the angle also but I'm not gonna do that. So, and then gonna add a twist, and also gonna put that under the bend object. Change the mode to unlimited, and change the degrees to the angle to whatever you want. And let's say 250, and then add in another bend, and put it under the twist and also <laughs> change the mode to unlimited again and yeah so you can see now you have some abstract looking thing and what you can do now is you can uh, re re let's rename this abstract you can also uh, if you, you can use whatever shape you want you can try uh, maybe a cylinder and a cube I don't know let's just get rid of this and make the cube a little smaller oh let's go with a let's go with a torus again the torus is really nice and yeah change the cap segment the ring segments and cap segments and the pipe radius and you can use all of these uh, shear twist taper melt bulge or something <laughs> I don't know and then again select both uh, the torus and the cylinder and click alt G and group them put the bulge, bulge I don't know inside change it to unlimited and yeah this will make it like that and you can mess with this make something cool and then maybe add a twist again and yeah and the bend change the mode to unlimited as you can see you get just mess around with this and you can get some really cool looking shapes and also you can uh, copy this and maybe rotate it so maybe like this and scale it down maybe put it up there for example and then you get some abstract uh, shapes and we're gonna add some materials and I'm gonna use Acres HD's material pack for this and it's really nice just add um, a purple to the first torus and then maybe a blue white bluish like this and to the second 
let's add uh, blue and um, a yellow um, there and the render times will be uh, will be a little bit longer when you have so much reflections and stuff and I'm gonna change the output to if you want when it has a wallpaper you can change it that's your screen resolution and I'm gonna change it to 1920 by 1200 current frame save it as a PNG F and change the anti aliasing to a still image and we're gonna add ambient occlusion and global illumination and I'm gonna use grayscale gorillas uh, light kit pro I'm gonna drag in the HDR sky and if you uh, don't have this just you can use a sky here a sky and just add in an HDR material I can do that now and yeah Mm, there we go. Um, just gonna use HR image. This maybe. And if you put that on the sky, and you right click on the sky and go to Cinema 4D tags, compositing, and check uncheck scene by camera. Let's see if you get some nice reflections. And we, when you have the global illumination and ambient occlusion, the render times will become much longer. So if you're going to use this for an intro, it will take some time to render it. But uh, the result will be real nice. So just wait. Okay, I'll, call, I'll, call, I'll come back when it's finished render. So yeah. As you can see, you get some nice reflections and stuff, but because the HDRI image is red, I'm going to change that because I don't want it red. So maybe this. So just render region, maybe take this part. And yeah, I'll come back when it's done. And as you can see, you get some really nice reflections on the uh, shapes and yeah i hope you liked the tutorial and please subscribe like and comment this video and yeah bye